A penny meets hydrochloric acid. A modern copper penny is actually only copper on the outside. The interior is zinc, which reacts with hydrochloric acid. I'm sanding the edge of the penny in four places to expose the zinc interior. By weight, the penny is 2.5% copper and 97.5% zinc. I put the penny in the glass with a mirror underneath to make it easy to film what's going on. Here is the penny. Here's the acid. The zinc and the acid react instantly. The bubbles are hydrogen. Basically, I'm hollowing out a penny. You can see the bubbles coming from the four points where I sanded. Hydrochloric acid reacts with the zinc, not the copper. This is about five minutes later. The little bits of black residue is zinc chloride, ZnCl2. I let it sit for about an hour, then rinsed it all. These holes are where I sanded the copper and where the acid ate away the zinc. If I pry this apart with a knife, you'll see what's left of the penny, a thin copper foil with Abe Lincoln. It appears there is still a little bit of zinc in the center that didn't dissolve. Now the hard part is putting it all back together again.